a little bit about it. Yes, it did. A little bit. Okay. So, for example, me and my sister had two names. Just like um, on the ladder. We were just talking about. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the verse, the, the, the suckling um, of the breast verse, adult, um, adult breast suckling. And basically, this verse was actually taken out of There's the no Quran. verse of adult suckling. That's what I'm saying, yeah, there isn't a verse. But what um, the, the hadith actually states, or Aisha, she says that um, at the time of the, the, the Muhammad's death, which is 18 years old, um, she was preoccupied with just obviously getting, you know, you know um, putting things together in terms of his death. And a sheep came in, and the Quran, or the, the verse which had been revealed to Allah, um, to Muhammad, she, which she had placed under her bed, the sheep came in and ate oh, that verse. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a chicken actually. Okay. Right? A chicken? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, If you want, uh, we can still communicate by uh, sure. by phone. Sure, sure. Give me your phone number. Uh, let me see. Oh, it's a new number. Let me get that. Number. It's over here. Oh, that's your phone number. Okay. It's a new, I just in cool. the Yes, no. Thank you. Okay. okay. So response there. So, yeah. well, my response the Quran was not good. Okay. Only. Um, I'll just show you. Okay. Was not good by the house. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't matter if the chicken eats. I think it's behaviour, it's cold, 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 it's
Let, let me read, let's read the hadith so that, so that, you, so that we're, not, we're, not, we're not confused about this here. Okay? So, there are several hadiths, all of them from Sahih Muslim. Um, I think the one you're referring to is... Uh, I'll read, I think it's this one. Okay. Okay? So, it says, Um Salama said to Aisha, a young boy who is at the threshold of puberty comes to me. I, ha I, however, do not like that he should come to me. Whereupon Aisha said, Don't you see in Allah's messenger, in Allah's messenger, a model for you? She also said, The wife of Abu Hudaifa said, Me the, uh, Messenger of Allah, Salim, comes to me and now he is a grown person and there is something that in the mind of Abu Hudaifa about him whereupon Allah's messenger said suckle him okay so that he may become your foster child and first he may be able to come to you freely so the word suckle isn't him saying listen put the some milk in a, in a, in a jar or in a cup and then let him drink that's what it says it says suckle him and then, let, and let me tell you why I, I have to tell you the word in I, Arabic. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let me just give you just one more way. So it says this, Zainab, um, daughter of Abu Sa Salama reported, I heard Um Salama, the wife of Allah's apostle, um, Saint Aisha, by Allah, I do not like to be seen by a young boy who passed the period of fostering. Okay. Whereupon she, Aisha, said, what is it? What is it so? Sahala, daughter of Sahal, came to Allah's messenger and said, Allah's messenger, and, and said, Allah's messenger, I swear by Allah, but I see in the face of Abu Hudaifa the signs of disgust on account of entering of Salim in the house. Whereupon Allah's messenger said, suckle him. She said, he has a beard. So think about it, she said, he has a beard. Okay. But he said, suckle him and it will remove what is there. I don't know about this Expression version. of disgust. I don't know about this version. But I have on the, the, on the, the face of the Vaifa, she said, I did that and Allah by Allah and by Allah, I did not see any sign of disgust on the face of Abu Hudaifa. So she said, listen, the Prophet is advising her, go and um, if you see the signs of disgust in his face, suckle him. And she says, no, but he's got don't, a big don't beard. Don't say suckle him like, okay, like let, let me explain. Let me, let me explain why this is important. Because she says the words, he has a beard. Now, okay. if we are to go back to what you said, and said what she was actually doing was actually um, um, inserting the, the, the milk into a cup, cup yes. and then giving it to him, yes. then she would have no problem with the fact that he has a beard. Because what she's saying is that He's an old, hold on, wait, he, let me finish. Okay. He's saying that he's he's older, he's, he's a man, he's grown up, okay. he shouldn't be drinking, he has a beard. Can yes. I apply? Ah. Okay. I'm not, I don't know about the version that you are okay. reading from. I'm not Sahih Muslim. No, I'm with me, Sahih Muslim is in front of me now, and I read, I can read it to you in Arabic. Okay. I have it. Okay. What you have said, the version that you are saying, I, I don't see it in Sahih Muslim. It, yeah, it's weird. No, no, no. no what, that some part of what you have said is right. He's okay. a Buddha, they're right. Yeah. He told him, suck, suckle him, suckle him the word, yes. right? Huh? Fine. Right. Would but you understand by that? What do I understand? I'll explain to you. Yeah. Okay. Suckle him in Arabic does not necessarily mean breastfeed him. It could mean also putting a, give him the milk. Give him the milk. Yes? Yes. Let me explain to you. Can, let me, let, can, let you, me. can you show me where the word suckle See. It means give him but see, see. In, in, in Arabic. Let me see. Let me see. I will explain to you. I will explain yes. to you. Okay? Because suckling is only for children up to the two years old. You see? No, no, no. no. Okay, Let me on. explain to you. Let me explain. According to the law of suckling in the Islam, is only up to two years old. Because otherwise, the teeth, when, when the child has teeth, when he suckles the breast of a woman, he will harm her. Okay? So it stops after two years. That's by in the Quran itself. So why does Allah then, or why does Muhammad then say this grown man? Why does it? Why did he say this? Why do you make it very simple? Listen, you got a cow. You've got um, other animals that produce milk. Go and get milk. Most other adults do. 
Well, why does he but say? That doesn't make well, him a son. Well, no, one second. What? No, but what exactly? What, what, why does he say? In order for you to be a son, there's other ways okay. aside from a grown man sucking the breast of a uh, uh, of a woman for you to become a son. Or why doesn't he? Why doesn't he say? Listen, here's a glass. Make sure that um, at, you know when she's away from um, Salim, pour that m your milk into a glass and then give it to him to drink. None of this is mentioned. This is just the spin that Muslims put on the actual verse. See, when he doesn't actually say that. When we, when we read the hadith, we have to read it with the understanding of the scholars. How do they, how do they understand? Because they, they, they don't take this hadith only. They take the verses of the Quran. They see what's lawful for uh, suckling, for example, when it stops. Because obviously, when I tell you that... <laughs> When I tell you, for example, that uh, suckle a, pe a person uh, who is 20 years old, automatically you will, you will, for sure, you will think that not from the direct stay, from stay, the stay, 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 stay on point. Stay. Okay. Automatically you will think that oh, of course, he's 20 years old. Of course, I will give him the milk by by a cup. This is logical. You see. Right. But this Muhammad, is logical. Muhammad he, he doesn't have to say that. He doesn't have to say that. We just read the hadith where the guy has a grown beard. Fine, right? Fine. And he says suckle. Yeah. Suckle. So the question is, well, if you are saying Arabic that doesn't mean doesn't mean directly. Right. So my, so so you made a claim that suckling in Arabic doesn't mean that. Yes. The emphasis or the onus is now on you to provide the evidence. Okay. The but evidence, it didn't mean the evidence. Yeah. What he meant was go to the go okay. to the evidence from, from, from the Quran itself. The evidence from the Quran itself in the Quran that. Uh, uh, only, get to take over. You're only allowed. Get to take over. He's over there. <laughs> it's very close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You just, yeah, just, just get him. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Go on. Explain. Explain. You are only allowed to suckle directly. Yes. Until the age of two. Until the age of two. Two years old, maximum. Where? Why? Where? Why? Yeah. Because then you'll have teeth, and if you have teeth, you will hurt the breast of, the, of your mother, right? So you don't need milk any uh, further than two years. Where does Allah? Where Says does in the Allah, Quran, it's two years. Where, where does where does Allah? Yeah, here where does Allah or Muhammad mm -hmm. command you in the hadith that suckling mm -hmm. is um, for, for only young people? Because I just showed to you. Uh, there is a verse in the Quran. No, no, but why there is a verse in the Quran that you tells you that the suckling is up to two years old. Okay. Only. So it's in direct contradiction with what Muhammad said. No. We, we join the two the hadith with the, with the verse and we understand that suckling, what he meant by suckling because he's an old man and it's obvious that he will not come to her rest okay, because you see, as you have said, uh, there's a beard so it's obvious that they will give him the milk can you show me, can you show me that glass. verse? Can you show me that verse? Can I see that verse? The verse? That says that yeah. suckling is only for two years uh, It's وَالْوَالِدَاتُ يُرْضُعْنَا وَلَادَهُمْ Yeah, 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 just give me the verse, I'll look it up yeah, we we'll, we'll just read it together and see, see if that says. Because I want to understand, for two things I want to understand. One, why is it that Muhammad um, speaks about suckling? You've given us um, kind of your own kind of interpretation of it, but that's not what Muhammad is saying. So you have to understand that. Hold, 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 hold on, but, but you're saying that in the Quran. Al-Baqarah, al number? Number one. Number one? Uh, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. So cha chapter one. Chapter one, two, three, three. Two, three, three. Chapter yes. one, two, three, three. He said chapter two. Baqarah uh, two, huh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Chapter two. Verse two, three, three. Verse two? Three, three. Three, three. Okay, chapter two. Uh, verse two. Okay. Mothers, says here, Walidat. Mother, mothers. They suckle their children two years. Let me just get it. Two, 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 three, three. Two, three, three. Chapter two, two, three, three. So is this uh, two? Chapter two. Are you sure you got that one? Two, three, three. You have one, three, five here. Go down, go down. No, no. Down. Two, Bakara. Two, three, three. Yeah, yeah. You have to go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me go to another 
Okay, read that. Okay, right, let me just get this out. So mothers may breastfeed their children. Is this? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. To to complete years. Their, their children two complete years. So whoever wishes to complete the nursery period. Upon the father, upon the father is the mother's vision and their clothing according to what is acceptable. No person is charged with more than this capacity. No mother should be hung through her child, and no father through his child. And upon father's so there, by default. Right. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying here is that because it says here mothers may breastfeed their children to two complete years, whoever up to, wishes up to, to complete the nursery. Okay. Two years. Right. Now. Let's stick on stick, um, stick on this, right? Now we, we we'll take this to. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so. But the Quran is much easier. You can memorize the Quran. Okay. So let me just pick up the hadith. Okay. So hadith number. One hundred and uh, one nine four four. The Sunan Ibn Majah, um, and Kitab and Nikah narrated Aisha. The verse of stoning and suckling an adult ten times were revealed, and they were written on paper and kept under my bed. When the messenger of Allah expired, and we were preoccupied with his death. A goat entered and ate away the paper. Right? So, what he's saying here, okay, uh, and you'd agree that this is um, authentic, is that the, um, she says that a goat came in, okay, and ate the paper. So, and it's, right, so the question is, where is this verse? This verse is supposed to be in the Quran. It's been, re hold on, let me finish. It's been revealed by Allah, it's been revealed by Allah to Aisha. Okay, so to, so to Muhammad, Aisha has kept the paper under her bed. So the question is, where is that? See, the Quran was not, Aisha is not one of the four major transmitters of Quran. That's what I asked. You're missing the question. Let me explain to you. Okay. Because the Quran was uh, transmitted by four major scholars. Uh, you know, uh, students of the Prophet, peace be him, followers. Uh, Ali ibn Ka, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Brother, brother, you know, okay. I'm looking for time. Aisha is Get not to one the of them. Where, that's okay. not what I asked you. But the I, question I asked you, this is from Sayyid. What is this verse? The right. verse will be Sunan. the other version. Right, so it's a, had, it's a hadith. It's a hadith that I'm reading you, okay? Right. And it's saying, it's narrated by Aisha. Okay? okay. Aisha didn't write the hadith. I'm saying it's narrated by, okay. okay. So, the verse of stoning and of suckling an adult ten times were revealed and they were written on paper and kept under my bed. Suckling, so, suckling so what is she adult, saying? Suckling an adult is not, a, it's not part of the Quran. I don't right, think, okay. I don't think this, uh, so this we're in hadith, agreement. I don't think this hadith, this hadith so, is correct. I don't okay, think, so, so we're in agreement. Maybe this is added. But stoning, yes. Stoning is part of the Quran. It was. And it was removed. The, the stone, stoning, it's actually in the Old Testament also. So it was, it was adultery. so even the stoning you say was removed? It was removed uh, as a word, but the law is there. I mean, beside, in the side. But you see the problem we have here, because we have had this from Sahil Muslim that speak about breast um, suckling the breast. Okay. I explained to you. Okay. You no, know, no. Yeah. Okay. What I'm saying to you is that Aisha is saying that these were revealed from Allah. However, unless you don't take this. Not the suckling. Not the suckling. The suckling. It says stoning and suckling. But that's not that's your version of the hadith. I don't know about that. So I know. Why don't you, you look it up for yourself right now? Look at look at look at for yourself. Okay. Okay. The hadith in the. Let's look at it. Oh, not not the old, not the. Okay, 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 fine, fine. I understand what you're. What do, you, you understand what I'm saying to suckling, you? Suckling, but but for children, not for not for the adults. No, okay, let me, let, 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 let me give you the hadith. Let me give you the hadith. Okay, but that's for children, not for Okay, listen, listen, listen carefully. Sunan ibn Majah. Okay. Okay. Uh, 1944. Okay. It was narrated that Aisha. So, have you got it? Do you want to look it up? We're just saying this. Sunan ibn Majah. Sunan ibn Majah, yes? So many volumes. <laughs> yes, 1944. You can just Google it for that and you get that verse right. Pop it right in front of you. It says, Aisha said, 
the verse of stoning and breastfeeding and adults oh, no, ten times uh, ten times was revealed and was revealed and the paper was under my pillow so she's saying the verse was revealed from Allah and was under her pillow but the goats came in and ate her so what I'm asking you is if this was surely written from Allah okay the question is if it is as you said it's all, everything's oral okay or you can get the traditions by oral why wasn't the oral tradition continuing on whereby you'd be able to put although the paperwork is lost which is written why isn't the oral tradition strong enough to be able to put that verse back into the Quran? Because maybe it's a council. Maybe? It's a council. Or, or do you know? It's a council. Of course it's a council. Okay. Book. It's a council verse for sure. So it's, it's a council Aisha, verse? Aisha is not one of the major transmitters of Quran. Okay. So, so she might yeah. have a version in her, in her, uh, in her house uh, where some of the verses that were cancelled uh, are still there. Okay, so but the question... You have to go yeah. to that. I understand what you said. Okay. Okay. So the question is, you said that that verse was cancelled. Who cancelled the verse? God himself. So where does it say that Allah cancelled these verses? In the Quran itself. He it says... That he Allah cancelled the suckling and the stoning? No, he says... I. Uh, the cancellation of some of the verses is part of the relevant no, 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 no. I'm asking you a specific question. I'm saying you said that these verses must were were See, this is the first time I hear the So hadith. I'm asking you. See, that's what look, look at. I have to look at if it's authentic okay, or not. But that's my point. My point is Maybe this, it's is not that an authentic hadith. You know? We have to, go brother, brother, we this have to make sure. Okay. The Sunan okay, look, look of Majah is not like a Bukhari and Muslim. Okay. It's a lower look, lower look, lower. Look it up. You have six um hadiths, okay? Look it up. Okay. I will look it up. Right, and I'm saying to you that okay. this verse, okay, and it's not, and you know, if you speak to most Muslims, they'll accept, okay, so now, uh, Ibn Majah. Not all of it. Okay. Not what, all of what, it. Oh, yeah, you can see all that, but you Only did. the hadith, the Sahih right. hadith. The That's a different discussion. That's a different okay. Okay. About authentic, authentic hadith yeah, and the is a different discussion. But I'm just simply saying to you, okay, but, um, but most Muslims will not be able to show us in any way whatsoever, okay, or prove what is supposed to be Sahil or not. All they are saying, no, they will expect the us. No, no, I know you do, but I'm saying you won't be able to prove it. But anyway, that's a different conversation. Yeah, that will be a different conversation. But the point is this. Look it up, get one of your Muslim friends to look it up as well, and see if you can find where, how this, this particular, um, this, this, this hadith is either not true, or is, uh, is not authentic, or is daif. I have to check okay? it out. You have to look it up, okay? But then, it causes a major problem, a major problem, because if you have verses, if you have verses, right, if you have verses missing from the Quran, the question is, how can we trust the Quran? Number two, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, you're flipping it. Let's, we can go on this. Let's finish, let's finish what you said. Okay, one, how can we trust the Quran? Number two, why would Allah, um, why, why would Allah counsel a verse Number three, wasn't Allah powerful enough to stop the goats from coming in and eating that piece of paper again. under her face? And so you have a problem. No, we don't have. And that's why it's very, it's, 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 it's a joke. I explain to you that the Quran. You said it's a chicken first, but goat. Well, a yeah, chicken yeah. and goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. It doesn't make a difference. It's a goat. Okay. Don't you see the problem? Goat gang. Yeah. Goat gang. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. Goat. Yeah. Goat. No, 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 yes. no, so okay. why is this goat eating Allah's revelation? <laughs> why not? Why it's not? only a goat. You it's just, only a wait, goat. Wait, you, so a piece of paper. Don't, okay, you wrong? don't have a problem. We don't have a problem. You don't have with a that. problem with because with hold, 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 let me tell you what it is. You don't have a problem with Allah's eternal revelation for all of mankind being eaten by a goat and now we no longer have that verse which is supposed to um, instruct and command mankind listen, on how listen, they should live their life. If I take That's not a problem. Today, today. It's not a problem. I mean, well, today, if I, if I take the Quran and take it to a goat, today, yes. it will eat it because yes. it's paper, right? Okay. Does that mean that uh, God did not preserve his word? Okay. So, will you have, a, will you have other Qurans? Will you have yeah, other Qurans? Yeah. Right. Yeah. But the question, but the problem you have here is you do not have the verse in the Quran. We do. So, where we is it? 
<laughs> you don't have to play the, the, the book that was in Aisha's house. It's yes. not the only book. We have so many. We ask. That's why I'm asked. This is what I want. This is what I want you to preserve. If this verse was not there, it means it was cancelled. So show us where Allah cancelled it. It's very simple. See, what's cancelled? You have to know the the knowledge of. No, no, no. I want you to show us where Allah cancelled this verse. The God, the God, the God, the God counts the verse. We have to it, it doesn't say that Allah did. See. I think he's right. It's the God that counts the verse. So the God is the reason why you don't have a preserved God. No, we do have. We do have preserved but, but, but the God, the God made the decision. Muslims, if, if there was no God, you'd have your full Quran. If this Quran is not preserved, then we have many different versions of Quran, right? Like the Bible. We have uh, yeah, yeah. a Bible of, huh? uh, according to Matthew. Not, that's, not that's not a Bible. Huh? That's not a Bible. Of course. I know, I know. I know, I know. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a gospel. A gospel. Yeah. Yeah. The gospel according to Matthew and the gospel according to Mark. Do you, do you see how Muslims try to deflect? You don't have a gospel according to Jesus. Where is, Where is the, the missing of verse in the Quran? Why does it have to be? Where is the missing yeah. verse? Where is that missing verse? Why did it disappear? See, there into is the, a knowledge. It's a gold stomach. There yeah. is a knowledge in the Quran itself. By the Quran, that God can cancel some of the verses. So show us where that verse was cancelled by Allah. I have so to. So you can't prove it. No, no, so, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. If it's cancelled, then it's not. If anymore. it's cancelled. If it's cancelled. So, so you don't know if it's cancelled. I think it's cancelled. You think? But, but okay, so you don't know if it's cancelled. If it's okay, cancelled, let's move forward. Let's, let's, I don't know about the, the part of... I know about the part of stoning. But I don't know about so the you, part so of... So stoning is cancelled? Uh, as, as, a, as a verbal recitation. Okay. But not as a law. Okay. You understand? So the, the point... So okay, okay, okay. So what we have here, what we have here, what we have here, we have verses that were revealed from Allah. Yes. Okay? But apparently um, we've been counseled even though Allah you cannot show, give me any evidence whatsoever that Allah himself counseled it all we have proof of so far have, so far have, hold, 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 hold. let me finish my point okay. all we have proof of so far is that a goat ate that revelation therefore man can no longer have that revelation not like that this, this book that you're talking Bro, about, it's, it it's, only, it's only one book that was in Aisha's house. We have several books outside Aisha's house. It's okay? Allah's word eternal. Okay, so Allah knew what he was going to write. He knew the whole Quran prior to um, prior to the Quran being revealed to Muhammad. He knew everything, yes? So did he know? Whether that verse was going to be his Quran or not. Okay, so he knew that verse was going to be his Quran. Or not. Or not, yes? Right. So, prior to Muhammad receiving the revelation, was that verse in Allah's mind in the Quran? Yes, but now it's disappeared. So, how does that make, because, <laughs> how does that make any sense? No, 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 I'll tell you. It's, 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 we're talking now what I know about, not the adult breastfeeding. I, what I know about the stoning. No, no. Let's talk about the stoning first. No, no. And I, what you're no, saying. Wait, wait, wait. Are we inside? Can I reply? No. Let me reply. Okay. Now, the stoning was a verse, written a verse. Okay? But we have something called a Nasaq al Mansur. Cancellation in the Quran. It's there in the book itself. Okay? This, this kind of verse was cancelled from the citation, but the law is still there. Why does Allah cancel these verses? He wishes to cancel whatever he, he wants. So, so Allah, so, so, Maybe so Allah, it was, it was, so, it was proper at the time, and it's not proper at the other time. So he, 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 he say maybe. Where, where does Allah say that at the time it was correct? Let, and, and at this time, 2018, where does Allah say? That it God, sounds like you're just making this up. No, to no, be no, no. We believe yeah. that God, Allah, is all wise. Okay. So, so if he's all, all wise, it only makes sense that he would know what to give. Because remember, he says that the Quran is for all people for all times. Yes. So it only would make sense that if he's given a revelation, that, that revelation would be, as he, as he said, for all people for all time. So if he's um, in his full knowledge, if he knows he's going to write this information down, why would he later on change his mind? Okay, and say, you know what, because, oh, you know no, what, no, uh, not, I don't think it's, it's a good idea. The law is there, but the wording of this verse 
was not necessary to, was not necessary to be there in the Quran anymore. See? It's, 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 tell me why he would have to change it. That's his, his uh, way of doing things. You see? But, he but thinks you see, maybe you just kind of... this verse is not necessary. Take it away. This verse is necessary. Keep it. It's his way of doing things. You have to believe in Islam first in order to come up with this explanation. Yeah, yeah. So as an objective yeah. kind of um, objective, yeah, yes, investigator, yes. then you cannot really... But don't you think that God, 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 God is all one? We believe that God is all one. He, he wishes for some, some verses to be rebuilt at a certain time and demolished or removed in a, in a later time when, when people mature. And they are well. Uh, I take. I give you an example. Uh, the law of uh, forbidding alcohol in Quran came in stages. In the beginning, it was not. Uh, it was okay for for uh, Muslims to drink alcohol. And they used to drink it five times a day, and they used to come uh, and drunk sometimes in the, in the prayer. Okay. So it was but okay. Then after, when they were very well established in Islam. A verse came to tell them that no more alcohol. Okay, stop it for good. Okay, so there is a stage in the end So, 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 are you, so, 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 what you're basically essentially saying is that, I mean, essentially, this is what I'm getting from what you're saying. Okay. It's like God changes his mind in terms of what he sees fit. So, for example, yeah. you're saying that it's okay at one point to get drunk, but another, t another, another time in the future. It's not okay to be drunk. Okay, that's number. That's what. That's the um, the example you gave me. I'm just going by what you said. All right. So I would speak this out. So in other words, as you said, you said that there was Muslims that used to get drunk. All right. Because so, you know why? Uh, hold on, because hold on, hold on, they used on. to drink five times a day. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's you fine. Cannot, that's fine. So, you cannot so, tell them from the beginning <laughs> stop alcohol because it will yeah. not be logical. I, I understand okay? what you said. I understand because what you said. But my problem is what my problem is with this is that if Allah is this all knowing. God, He knows all things from the beginning to the end. He knows how things are going to turn out. Okay. He knows before any, before Muhammad existed, He knew all things. Why wouldn't He have known what verse to give? Okay. He knows. Oh, just listen me. Why wouldn't He know what verse? Just let me finish. One, what verse to give that wouldn't need or necessitate changes? Because He'll just give this verse and um, because, it'll be established. Because why would it, He? Why would He? Evolve. Societies. You know, you know, uh, elevate in, right. in, in, in So the, give us, so give us um, example of you that. You think in the, the laws Quran. today are the same as the laws uh, 1,000 years ago? Give us an example of that. People change, right? People okay. change. Give us laws changes also. Give us. That's, uh, that's part of the brother, 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 brother. I'm asking simple See, question. the Quran is not rigid. It's not a law that you know we are humans. You know. Okay. We, we give change. us we an example the, of where the Quran says that. Um, that this revelation from Muhammad, or from the Quran to Muhammad, um, was not given for for all of mankind because the Prophet Muhammad is for all people. Yes. That's all people. Right. Okay. So what I'm asking is, give us a, give us where Allah says, you know, sometimes, um, you know, um, I think it's appropriate to change my mind on. The there is a verse. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh man, sorry man. I listen. I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to steal your phone. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he was actually so polite as well. It was like. <laughs> but no, but would you see my point? Muslim, yeah, he's a good man. No, he's a good, he's a good, he's a good man. But my point is this: is that it really just hard to comprehend what, what you're saying because like, going back to what we we're speaking about is something. But it makes sense. It doesn't. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, it doesn't make I mean, sense. The flexibility of uh, changing laws makes sense because no, you cannot. Let's say. Not let's if you're perfect. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, we are human beings. No, I didn't say you. I didn't say you. I said if Allah is perfect, okay, right? Then fair enough, okay. Uh, he has to change and adapt his laws. Okay. Okay. The what I'm saying to you is that if he is perfect, why is it that this suckling verse, okay? Because remember, you haven't proved it from your Quran or your Hadith. All you simply said is that it may be the case that Allah has decided that he's going to um, change the verse. What I'm saying, where does Allah himself say? It's just a minute, just a minute. Where does Allah come himself? Come back to the old point again. Where does the point we're discussing? No, but you want to ask for the verse. Are you talking about abrogated verses? Yeah. yeah but that's the one speaking. See now, I'm not speaking about abrogated verses. I'm, I'm, exp I'm asking. You ask where, where does the God changes? No, no, that's, that's no. I'm it. saying, does it make sense? Yes, of it? course it makes sense. Okay. So if for a perfect being to, to change his mind, it, it makes sense. He's not changing his mind. 
is changing the laws according to the needs of the people. I give you a law today that's not it's suitable for you today, but then it's not suitable when you go to Medina and when there's a, 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 a so tell government. Me so tell me something. Okay? How was the suckling of the press? I explained to you. How was the, how, how, the how, how was the suckling of the press? Okay for the people back then and not okay for us now. And when did Allah say that? Suckling of the breast is still okay. So, 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 so I'm asking. Up to you, two years only. Up to two years only. Right. So why is it? Why is it? Why is it? So you're giving me two examples. You said you're talking about sucking in the breast, and you're also talking about alcohol. So give me, give me your your um not your your your, your logic on this. I love understanding this. Why is it in in the seventh century it was okay to get drunk, but now? But you just said that Allah said it was okay. The Quran was revealed to people who used to be drunk five times a day. Okay. It's only wise for for the Creator who knows these people. They cannot take the law of for, for you know forbidding law, forbidding alcohol, just at one time. It has to be in stages. So it's not okay to get one. He told them in the beginning, don't come to prayers five times a day. Don't come to prayers while you are drunk. So the only time they used to drunk to get drunk is only when at night. The only. See, it was it was five times a day. I understand now your it point. became one time a day. I understand your and point. And then slowly by slowly then. I understand your point. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Can you make up for that? Just a little point. You know, the problem, the problem is that um, the, the claims Islam make, uh, uh, makes about the preservation of the Quran are very strong. Mm -hmm. It has been perfectly preserved. It is what Allah has inscribed in heaven. And this is the Quran you have today. Mm -hmm. So when you make such strong claims, okay, then you can you can understand why someone looking at the Quran objectively without being a Muslim okay, may wonder. Now, for example, if that verse you admitted that verse that has been is not in the Quran and was written by a God, uh, it's not it was in the original Quran in heaven, but it's not in the Quran we have today. So when you make that strong claim of, of preservation and that the Quran you have today is the Quran that Allah had in heaven, and then there are verses that have been written by goats and so on, and this goes against that strong claim. Yeah, I explained to you. That's what I said, yeah. Not preserved by writing only. Writing is just part of the Quran. Quran was preserved by heart, by the oral. And it was transmitted by thousands and thousands of people from different uh, backgrounds, different, uh, you know. And they have differences uh, between them in the recitation yeah. of the Quran. Yeah. Oh, uh, so that's part of the Quran itself. Okay. That's, uh, that's also part of the Quran because there were Arabs and many slimes, and it was written in seven slimes. Seven slimes. To make it easier for people to understand the Quran. But, 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 so, but that's the question we're asking is that. And we're, we want to sum because we're going in circles now. We're just going to summarize, yeah. But the question is this: is that if you are saying, okay, that um, this the Quran is also already, um, it's mainly oral. Hold, hold, hold. Mainly, mainly, okay. Say mainly. That's perfect. Mainly, mainly okay. And then we should admit to you that this goat has eaten this piece of paper, okay. And you say it's mainly oral. Then we should still have hold, hold. Let me finish up. Let me finish up. Then we should have the Quran today because it's mainly orally transmitted. We should have it in other Quran. It should have nothing to do with that piece of paper that was um, eaten under the goat. So it's irrelevant that point. The question we're asking to, to you is where is this missing verse? Could I be wrong? Could I where be is wrong? this missing verse? Could I should be wrong? Well, listen, where are you reading your Yeah, yeah, but you could be wrong, it's not the prophet. As Christians, as Christians, of course, you know, we don't believe in the Quran or the Hadith. So all we do is go by your Hadith. Hold on, 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 hold on. But you see what happens, you see what happens here, what happens here? Anytime we show you something that's positive about Aisha, okay, or anyone in Islam, oh yes, of course you said it. But minute we see, we show you something that may not sound so right, or oh, may, may, may not, may not, may not um, sound appeasing to you. All of a sudden, Aisha's wrong. We're giving you your hadiths. We're giving you all the sources. You are mixing things up. Let me explain to you. No, no, I don't think you anything. Know, I don't think anything is mixed up. No, let me I think. Can I reply? Sure. You are. You sound like there is only one Quran, and the Quran that was revealed to Aisha in her in her house. 
Which is not the case. That's not what I read. No, but, but wait, that's not what I read. Let me explain to you. I told you Quran was transmitted by four scholars, and none of them are none of none of the four are is Aisha. So is she is not a reference for us for uh, transmitting the Quran. That's first. Okay. That means that there are other uh, books or also oral. Transmission was there and preserved outside the Aisha house. And the Muslims, Abu Bakr, he connected. How, how did I respond to that? I responded to that by showing you all the hadiths, look at all of their hadiths that shows the, the act of adult breastfeeding in Sahih Muslim were happening at the time. And so it, it says it here. And even only one hadith. No, 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 no. I'll show you more. I'll, I'll, I'll show, show you more. about the authentic hadith. But, but that's what I showed you. So he must not say about a beard or doesn't say about a beard. It, it does. I just, no, I just read it to no. you. I just, I read it myself. I read Sahih Muslim myself. It doesn't okay, say about wait, a beard. Sahih Muslim 8, 334, 28. He says, uh, um, she said he has a beard. But he said, that's not suckle him. But it's Sahih Muslim. I'm reading it here, Sahih Muslim. 8, 34, 28. I don't know. All right, what, what, look it up for yourself. Sahih Muslim. Is Muslim. Oh, okay. So, Sahih Muslim. Uh, okay, I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. Aisha radiallahu anha said, Inna Salim al-Mawla Abi Khalifa kana ma'ali Khalifa ala Khalifa فأتت تغني ابنة سهيل عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أن سالم قد بلغ ما يبلغ الرجال He became an old man not there is no mention of a beard here What I would encourage you to do The age of manhood Remind me your name again Wael What I would encourage you to do because I've taken some time or we've taken some time to look up these I can read it to you Hold on, hold on We've taken some time to look up these verses Yes? It is in Sahih Muslim, wherever you it's believe in of not you, just, to you. My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, only one, my friend, one hadith. my friend, just a minute. There's not, it's not just one hadith. Look, there's 334.25, 34.27, um, there's 8, 34.27. It doesn't make a difference. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me make that point. My point is this. The fact is, is that you need to take time to read through it. And you see what you call, hold on. What you call your most authentic hadiths, it is written there that these practices used to take place in those days. It's only one case. But hold on. No, no. It's only no. one case. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Hold on, hold on. Hold don't on. make it hold more. On. Let me, let me, that. let me it's give you only one case. Let me give you one more case and before a, I go. A specific case. Let me give you one more case before I go. Okay. It says here. Um, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you listening or you said it's only one case? Yes? Alright, so it speaks about um, the Prophet's wife. Okay, so I'm trying to get this up. Yahya related to him from Malik. But Abdullah ibn Hijjah said, A man came to Abdullah ibn Umar when I was with him at the place where judgments were given and asked him about the suckling of an older person. Abdullah ibn Umar replied, a man came to Umar ibn Qatad and said, I have a slave girl, I used to have intercourse with her, my wife went to her and suckled her. When I went to the girl, my wife told me to watch out because she had suckled her. Umar told him to beat his wife and to go to his slave girl because um, because kin, because kinship by suckling was only by the suckling of the young. Mutawata thirty uh, thirty. Mutawata. Mut, mut, yeah, yeah. Thirty. Sorry. Thirty to um, two and thirteen. And so here, Umar is disagreeing with Muhammad. He's disagreeing with what is said in Sahih Muslim. Um, with water, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30
But um, the verses, like for example, narrated by Aisha, shows that there were certain revelations given to Muhammad that were supposed to be um, under Aisha's bed, which were eaten by a goat. The question is this, is if these verses have been eaten by a goat, then how do we have a true preservation of the Quran? If it's an oral tradition, why was the oral tradition not strong enough to be placed in the Quran in the future? Um, and so the, the question still arises is, how can we trust that um, one, that the Quran preserved, but two, that Allah has the ability, has the power to prevent or stop a goat from eating or from destroying his revelations. And so I, I haven't been convinced to give an answer, but that, what I'll do, I'll encourage the Muslims to come to a book where God doesn't change his mind, where God you know, has revealed his scripture and his truth through the prophets and through various um, ways in which we can know the truth. And what the Bible says is that the truth, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And today that's what we offer to our Muslim friends. God bless.